The puffin is the most common bird in Iceland, but unfortunately that might be changing. The world puffin population is about 10 to 15 million, and more than half of them breed in Iceland. They are found all around the country, and the biggest colonies are on the Westman Islands, where they breed on 15 islands. Seabirds are often long-lived, and the puffin is no exception. It can live for 30 years. In the Westman Islands, it mainly hunts sand eel, and it can dive down to 70 meters. The puffin spends all winter at sea, and only comes ashore to breed. They are very loyal to their mates, and the male usually arrives before the female and starts to prepare the burrow. If the female doesn't arrive within a certain time period, he gives up and finds a new mate. But if the original mate appears later, he kicks the new female out and gets back together with his original mate. Each puffin pair has a burrow that can be several meters long. The nest is deep in sight and one chamber is used as a lavatory. They dig the burrows with their beaks and feet and often become very dirty. The puffin lays one egg per year and the parents do not sit on it but lay their wings on top of the egg and embrace it. The pufflings are constantly hungry and need to eat a third of the body weight in fish per day. This puffin managed to get a big fish, but he landed on the wrong place and decided to take a walk. The puffin has been very important for the islanders through the years. Around 100,000 birds are hunted each year, but not those that carry sand deal, since they have pufflings in the burrows. In the last few years, life in the puffin colonies has been changing. Very few puffins are seen with full beaks of sand deal, as was observed in the past years, and even though they work very hard, things are not going well. The reason seems to be that the sand deal population around the islands has almost disappeared. Hungry gulls use every opportunity to steal fish from the puffins and force them to go back for long hunting trips. Most pufflings did not get enough food and died inside the burrows. They are pulled out since the puffin wants to come back to a clean burrow next year, and therefore the hills were sometimes full of dead pufflings. Greenhouse gases capture around half of the sunlight and transform it to heat. This results in the atmosphere having a similar function as a greenhouse. If this does not occur, the temperature on Earth would be 30 degrees colder. In the past years and decades, the planet has become warmer. Carbon dioxide is to blame and its concentration has increased enormously in the last decades, mainly because of fossil fuel usage. Plants have the ability to change carbon dioxide to oxygen but the man is destroying the most important forests of the world and therefore the concentration of carbon dioxide increases more and more and the planet gets warmer. Global warming has a great influence on all organisms. Sand eel larvae feed on plankton and around Great Britain the plankton has moved north to colder areas and the dying larvae are left behind. When the sand eel disappears there is little food for the puffin. It is still not known what happened to the sand eel around the Westman Islands. 
When the plankton disappears, it affects all the species that are above it in the food chain, including seabirds. Their puffin is therefore not the only bird in danger. These pufflings did not get enough food and are taking their last breath of air. It is impossible to know what will happen to the puffin if the situation in the ocean doesn't improve. Perhaps they will find new source of food and adjust, but there is a chance that the colony will collapse. It is very difficult for the puffins to move, since they only breed in very special areas. Empty puffin hills may become the only reminder of the species in few decades. When the pufflings are ready to go out on sea, they use the moon as a guide. If the burrows are close to the village, thousands of them will fly towards the lights and mistake them for the moon. The village kids come to the rescue, but in the last couple of summers they found very few pufflings, and most of them were malnourished and in bad shape. Hopefully these individuals will come back in few years and make their own burrows. Global warming is mostly our own fault. We need to stop further climate changes or the planet will not be a very good place to live. Then the puffins will not be the only species in danger, but ourselves as well.